I'm going to start working on the filament uh, now for the light bulb and some uh, glass material and have a look at uh, what this is going to look like rendered uh, now. Okay, so I'm going to select the bulb itself, come over to the object properties under viewport display and turn this to wire so I can see inside and I'll select that as well and press the slash key and press one so we can just focus on that stuff so the first thing I'm going to do is make a glass rod that would go down the middle I'm going to choose a cylinder and uh, maybe 22 vertices and scale it down stick that in here like that and go to wireframe and grab this bottom and pull it down to about here and then you press uh, let's see let's inset to do that and extrude it down near the bottom maybe around there just press E and S to scale out a bit E come down that's good enough like that let's go back in the solid view and with that I'm going to control B to bevel and I'll put maybe a couple of subdivisions in there select that edge and do the same and come up to the top here and do the same we'll come up here and we'll delete this face so we won't see it and I know because I'm going to put a subdivision on this, I'm going to need a couple of edge loops. So I'm going to just split that like that. It's probably not enough. Let's go control one and shade smooth. It's a long piece. It's going to need a little bit more support. So let's control B again and come up to something like that. So I'll have that piece in there. else now it's good okay so we have the, that glass rod that's going to come down and now we need the filaments and there's lots of ways to do these and there's many styles of them there's this and there's all these things here um, and so I'm going to do something pretty standard that I see a lot of people doing I'm going to do the same kind of thing shift a curve circle just like that go to edit mode I'll scale it down all right, I'm going to right click and subdivide a couple of times and we'll have that and then I'm going to select every other one of these and I'm going to pull them down like that let's take the whole thing and move it down something along that line let's hide the bulb now and this is what I've got here. Okay, I'm going to take this and in individual origins, I'm going to scale shift Z. Pull them in like that. So we have this. And we don't need to see how they attach. Uh, that stuff's not going to be uh, visible anyhow. So we have these as curves. Let's give them a little bit of thickness, like a 0.01. That might even be a little bit too much in this case. So I'm going to try 0 0.00. Let's try 5. Maybe even more, less than that. 3. Okay. And then I'm going to convert these to a mesh going to worry about the uh, resolution control one maybe maybe control two make it nice and smooth okay so those are going to be my filaments right there okay and those are going to have an emission material so let's go ahead and start that I'm going to switch this to emission and I'm going to choose sort of a yellowish gold as far as strength goes we can start with a thousand 
and that's fine there. And I think, I think I don't need to do anything else really with those. I can have them all light up. Let's bring back the bulb. All right, so for the bulb, we'll come back here and turn this back to textured. And switch over to look dev. And I think just before I go any further, under uh, the world tab and the color, I'm going to choose environment texture, open. I'm going to choose an HDRI. And for now, I'm just going to choose this indoor sort of darkish scene. We'll put the strength at about 0 0.5 though for the moment uh, so that we can see a little bit more glow in that. Uh, this is obviously going to be glass. All right, so under materials, I'll create a new material. I'll call it glass. And I'm just going, I'm going to actually choose glass here. I'm also going to turn this to alpha blend. Let's hide that and let's make this thing here also glass. And I just want to, yeah, okay. Okay, now let's set this up as cycles and maybe 300 for samples. We'll turn on denoising here. And I'm going to bring in a camera. And while I'm sort of looking at it, I'm going to press Control Alt Zero to look through the camera. N, view, and choose lock camera to view, and to close that. And just start doing something like that. I'm also going to come over here for my test renders. I'm going to do them at about 70%. Let's turn the roughness down on the glass first of all turn it to zero and let's press f12 and have a look at that all right you can see that the glass is um, very shiny and we don't really have the emission that we want we do have some interesting reflections going on and that's good all right so we're going to continue to work on this so I'm going to start with uh, a, a bit more of a material on this glass and I'm going to be using the paid add-on called Smudger Pro and I've done a number of videos using this. I just want to scratch up and smudge up this glass so that the emission is, is going to sort of bounce around and I do want the, sort of an old look to this whole thing. So with the glass selected I'm on the materials I'm going to come down here and you can see that Smudger Pro, which you can get from uh, Blender Market, um, is right here on my Materials tab. So you can do this right in Blender. I don't have to UV unwrap or anything. Uh, I only have this one material, so there's an S there beside that. I'm going to add a Smudger Setup. And I think I'll come over to the Shading tab for you. So here you can see my shiny glass bulb and the glass rod inside. And this is the glass BSDF when I made the glass material. And since I clicked on Smudger, it puts down this stuff, SMR. And it's ready now for me to do some more work. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here to Scratches and watch the glass when I click Add Scratches. Right away, that changes things quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to choose, I think, a different, uh, maybe a little bit less something like that. I'll put that at 0 0.1. We can, we can start with that. So that's going to break up the light right there. And I'm also going to come up and I'm going to put a little bit of smudges on here. So I click the S, add smudges. And I'm going to choose one that I like. Just, just anything. And just scale that down. And just have a little bit of something in there to break up to break up the light okay and you can see that it's added some other stuff here and I can edit all of this stuff if I want to but let's just go back here okay so this that's gonna have that and this glass is also gonna have that so um, I'm only using the environment light so far at a strength of 0 0.5 no other lights and let's let's have a look at that um, 
I'm just going to grab this area here. Now because of the scratches and the smudges, um, it breaks up the light and I get this really interesting uh, effect here. Um, later on we'll go into the compositor and I'll add glare, uh, so that should also really help. Uh, so that's the general idea. So far I've got the, the, the bulb with the, with the glass material and that rod and we've got some filaments in there uh, that are glowing. So it's time to really set into uh, working on uh, the metal materials uh, for this. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to use Substance Painter or if I'm going to continue in Blender, maybe using the Smudger um, um, app and, uh, you know, uh, and uh, we'll see how it goes with that. All right, so I'm going to work on the materials for the metals next and uh, start putting this whole thing together with some other lighting as well. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.